Play. Boom, holla at your boy. We got it back after like a month of a billion months of me not friggin' recording anything. Like seriously, you haven't yep. read, read anything Easy. since uh, about early mid August. Well, assuming you get this up in a timely fashion, they won't even notice because the last ultra know, update right? you put I've up was like been able to a week ago like or something. A marginally regular release schedule, at least like compared to and the now we've rate dated, which we're now we've dated this too because I just said it came up like a week ago. So if this comes out two months here. from now, they'll be like, "Wow." Took him forever on this. <laughs> that was gonna take forever because I'm gonna release at least like another video or two before I do this one because I like to release these ones. This is like not as well, maybe filler. I don't know. I'm a big jerk to the people who like reading this, listening to this. What am I saying? So, okay, if they <laughs> liked reading it, they wouldn't listen. When last we left Ostentatious, he met a whole bunch of chicks in a volcano. Wisterton, that's, that's not. I, I already argued with you about this. <laughs> he did. It's not how it went. It's there, it's, like, it's females it's a village in a of, village, it's a village of females by a volcano. In a village near a volcano. It's exactly by how By a went. volcano. So, expect some Pompeii shit. I don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, sure. And when last we met, we met. Uh, when last we met, we met. Yeah. We met. We met. Yep. That's the one. Yep. That's yeah, it. That's it. That's the summary. That's Frick is done. If you don't remember what happened last time, go watch last time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go. Shut up. No, but just a second. I'm actually a. Do, 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 do. Tempest. You're actually delaying. No. The is the Rainbow Dash after... allegory named Tempest currently? Fails. Because we know something about the future of the fic, but I'm just trying to make yeah, sure that we know. We don't the future of the fic. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I'm gonna assume that's it. Uh, we met uh, the Rainbow Dash allegory for this uh, fic. It's it's Tempest. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and um, and we met the the mayor of this town who apparently has like a crazy nobody, bellowing voice, which for some reason I'm doing. Um, nobody and, read what Tom typed out loud because he just did the spoilers that we were trying to avoid. No, don't read it out loud, you dumbass. So, um, and, uh, when we left, last left them, <laughs> the pulsation of an alarm rolled through the town and it shook them and they, uh, we all started to follow Tempest, who flew off to meet the warning, knowing the battle ahead. <clears throat> Ultra Eternal Park Dale Fury is very big Sonic's Fearless Perpetual Heroic Epic Legendary Book 2 Part 1 Chapter 1 Episode 3. Trials of these forces, aggrandizement of us, the prodigal. <clears throat> we begin. Turns out there was no battle, but it was only time for dinner. <laughs> dinner. <laughs> dinner. Uh, so the whole time I thought it was some sort of crazy Spaghetti. <clears throat> To this extent, I hid Bella and Scattershot to eat while I stayed behind, perhaps to break the walls of this heroine. Spelled without an E, meaning that apparently I'm like... Anyway, um... Oh, man. See if she has kindness yet undetected. The two mares smiled, but I saw the dust and debris of travel on them. The rest was well deserved for such delicate creatures, as they were not trained to be brilliantly athletic, athletic or eternally spotless, unlike myself. Gla Glassy Knoll. Yeah, that'd be pleasant. Grassy Knoll understood my concerns and waited for me back at the desk. Her eyes skimmed the pages of the tome I, of the tome as I returned. <clears throat> oh fuck, I don't remember what she sounded like. Don't worry about Tempest. Her loyalty to the village seems to have turned into paranoia, but it's all with good intent, I'm sure. Then you know her? I asked. Has she always been like this? My olive branches met with only reproach. Noel knew her Noel drew her head from the book to look at me. Trust me, she's probably not used. She's probably not used to the help, especially from guys. The Titans, they came from the volcano. In the night, they slipped into the homes and abducted all the males, be they adults or children. For what malicious purpose we've yet to figure out. Even after that terrible ordeal, they tried to attack again. That's when Tempest appeared. She's a regular idol around here, you know? And the ponies here adore her and treat her like a sister. I'm going a little bit too rarity. I'm trying to, like, pull it back a bit, but I'm having trouble. Anyway. A hero to what end? No compensation. Only to help us in this grave time of need. She's been this town's protector ever since that caldera formed where the, there was once a lush hillside. What is it in Define Caldera again? What? What? Caldera, Caldera. Like an inactive volcano, the, the, the bowl inside a volcano. Okay, cool. If Thanks. I remember correctly, anyway, I might have to look it up, but, uh, Reminds I was going to mention- Reminds me of the root word of, like, cauldron. What's up? I was going to mention that I think your grassy knoll voice was supposed to be more like Mayor Mayor. I'm not it sure was, if that's correct. But I think they said it was but... going to be, like, bellowing for some reason. <laughs> Like and so, fire. my mayor mayor, and so my mayor mayor voice. There we go, I'll go like this. Mutating. All right. <sighs> and where, where does such a gallant heroine hail from? 
I'm not sure. She flew from a cloud and told us not to fear any other attacks. We were all tormented and skeptical, though she swiftly dispatched the monsters, but I think she expects them daily now. I don't remember the last time they attacked, but she seems certain they will strike again soon. An idyllic gift from the sky. How fortunate. Think of it what you will, but she is good and she is an unwavering protector. She colors us with hope, something we all once abandoned. As she fights back, we see ourselves in her and realize that we too can rise up against this darkness. Maybe that's why we still have our color. She paused, observing her hoof. A light green dulled by a soot. By a soot. I can't read. I'm blind. <laughs> Just a moment. I'm lowering my microphone slightly. How, that is how have you too. managed so well so far? Are you guessing at the words? <laughs> Is, are you making this up as you go? Hey, Magic. You put 50 monkeys in front of a typewriter, you put one brony mic in front of a PC. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's about randomized Magic. stuff. <clears throat> she paused, observing her hoof. A light green dulled by soot, though still a beautiful shade. Why don't you go see her? Who knows? Maybe she just needs someone to talk to. The mouth of a cannon is safer than the mouth of an enraged mare. No laughed. You seem like someone she'd warm up to. The connotations and undertones of the remark left me a little unsettled, though I did not blush. What was her origins and motives clouded in an enigma? What has her, what has her origins and her motives clouded in an enigma? This I must discover. She looked at she looked me in the eyes and be and be oh. <laughs> She looked me in the eyes, gentle and benign. Oh, thank you, sir, ostentatious. She should be in the cafe down the street. Good luck. I nodded to her and turned to leave. Noel returned to the pages religiously. What pages? Are they of a religious tome? It's a scene break, so I can goof around. That's all it does. Goof around, goof Meanwhile. around. Meanwhile. Jump up, jump up, and get down. This is for the birds. <laughs> as for the birds. <laughs> Meanwhile, and the hall this. <clears throat> Upon the streets sprouted a few homes in the familiar streets of vitreous earth. As, I inst as instructed, I followed the paths to the foretold cafe at the base of the mountain, a peculiar scene meeting me. Three bears. <laughs> <laughs> Mama bear, papa bear, baby bear. <laughs> Not and at all. that one retarded redneck bear. <laughs> we don't talk to him. He carries we'll a bird in his backpack. <laughs> um, three mares, Bella Scattershot and the Vexatious Tempest were gathered around a table. I somehow mixed Vexatious with, like, Voluptuous in my mind. <laughs> <clears throat> the table positively glowed with laughter and good tidings. Tempest offering jubilations to spare. I heaved a sigh of relief. <sighs> I wasn't relieved at all. That just sounded like you're lift something. <sighs> Friendly grins looked over a card game as, I cath as cathartic sounds of joy and dismay drifted in the air. I could hear Tempest's voice from afar. I can fly faster and higher than any other Pegasus here. The sky's the only limit for me. I approached the table, Scattershot and Bella greeting me kindly. Hi. Hi. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, that was not in the script. That's <laughs> definitely <laughs> exactly what happened. <laughs> that explains everything. <laughs> Kind greetings. Kind greetings! Though Tempest did not notice me, her eyes remained fixed on the cards in front of her. She flipped a final card, forgetting my, her ignorance of me, and chuckled profoundly. Ha! <laughs> Apparently she had won or something to that reasoning, as Scattershot bowed her head in defeat and sighed. Do you want to take over for me, Ostentatious? Scattershot wondered. Hey! I thought it was Bella's turn! Tempest interjected. No problem! No problem! There we go. Chirped Bella. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no problem! <laughs> Chirped Bella. Austin hasn't played yet, and I'm sure he'd enjoy this. And I'm sure he'd enjoy this game. I shrugged and said, "That sounds marvelous." I shot a confident smirk at Tempest. Scattershot and I shifted places as Tempest huffed and scooped up the cards. A guy's in a wait. A guy's idea in a card game is war and cowardice. Tempest mocked, spreading the cards across the table to shuffle them. <laughs> and yours, my lady, is that of a combination of larceny, embezzlement, and deceit. She merely scoffed and tucked the cards together into a neat deck. A hoof dealing out the cards, she began to explain the rules. The rules are simple, so you won't have to think that hard. Cards began to fly up from the top of the deck to this table like scrumptious eagles. Wait, like sumptuous eagles. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. Eagles, I know, right? <laughs> 
I deal out six cards. We each take turns flipping up cards until all the cards are up. Then we count our point. Then we count up our points. Whoever has the most points wins. A game of chance. What will this prove? Hey, if you don't want to play, that's fine. You can go read a book or something while us girls play. She motioned to clear the cards. My lenses tensed at the smugness she radiated, like a cloud of poison. Like a cloud of radioactive poison. <laughs> uh, oh, I'll play your game. Ladies first. Tempest snorted and shook her head and took her lead. What? <laughs> I'm, uh, I accidentally misread rhyme words of those words. Tempest snorted and took her lead. <laughs> She looked over the green faces of the six cards. With a beat of a wing, she, a current flew to the card of her choice and flipped it over, revealing a nine. An admirable start, though I, react, though I reacted and chose the card to my left, an unimpressive four. Tempest's reaction was obscured by her mask, goggles shining like justice. Quite a good poker face, I complimented. Perhaps the mus perhaps the mask is an advantage, though I'm sure the musk would be too, holy sh- <laughs> <laughs> Anyway. Sorry, ladies and gents, I just read a clop fic with these guys, so I'm friggin' uh, still, <laughs> still, still shit-brained a little bit. <clears throat> Why not take it off, clop fic? Ooh. The heat must punish thy skin most brutally. I'll manage. She let out, eyes determined in choosing her next card carefully. Another created wind- wait, another created wind swooped across the table and picked up her second card. A ten. I flicked my head upwards, my horn responding well. The rhythm of the heart of the cards carried me back into the potential winner's er arena. My choice revealed an ace. Bella gasped. What luck! Tempest let out as she continued to study the blank backs of the cards. With two cards left, she chose the card directly in front of her. A queen. I pursed my lips and pondered the numbers. She ended with a score of 31, while I only had a score of 18. Motionless, I flipped the last remaining card. Pondering Lady Luck's current opinion of me. I, it turns out I flipped over a 48. No, that's... <laughs> Sorry. Um, she seemed to have an affinity for me. As I drew from Tempest exclamations of disbelief as I revealed the regal king atop his throne. Though victory belonged to no one, the tied score was enough to shake her devotion to the game's infalli infallible qualities in deciding another pony's worth. Hey, Mike. Mm -hmm. knock, knock. Who's there? The regal king. Is he hungry? I, you're supposed to say who? Ah, you ruined my joke completely. I'm, I'm done. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, love my food. I'm, I'm sorry. I've like, ruined our inside love joke. My food. That is going yeah, to be I'm recorded done. and put on YouTube. I'm out of here, man. <laughs> well, I mean, at this point, that inside joke's been on YouTube like 20 times, so. Dude, why don't you friggin' ride a little wheel out of here? <laughs> yeah, Go right to unicycle. This is for the birds. I smiled and chuckled at the fortuitous circumstance. How beautiful maleness is, if it finds the right expression. Shall we play again? Nah. She waved a deep blue hoof of dismissal. I'm bored of this game. You three play. I've got stuff to do anyway. Disinclined to wait for a response, her wings picked her above the table and she flew over, thirty over the dirty roofs and disappeared into a trail of scarlet. <laughs> Frailty, thy name is Mare. I hissed. <laughs> Frailty, thy name is Smare. I hissed. There we go. Don't be so hard on her, ostentatious. Scattershot who's, sued. Who's Smear and why are you insulting them? <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> she was fine a minute ago. Bella added with a shrug. I guess she just doesn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> I hung my head in. I hung my head at the comment. Irrationally, perhaps. I'm sure she'll warm up to you as time goes by. Assured Shatterscott. A, s a friendly smile shining. Scott. Yeah, Shatterscott. <laughs> Wait, Why? fuck. Fuck, I like you're right. Scott. Why would you shatter him? Dude. <laughs> Ridley Scott. <laughs> you Ridley from Metroid got, got a hold of Scott and shattered him. Assured Scattershot. Thank you for the correction. A friendly smile shining. I almost said Shile Smining. Because I have to friggin' spoonerize something in that sentence. <laughs> she was talking to Bella and I like we were long lost friends. It's like we all shared an element of harm at Naga. No, sorry, Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, just, that's just me. <clears throat> Streets began to grow empty along with the adjacent tables. We decided to flip the tables, as per YouTube custom. No. Um, the three of us ah. walked from the table back to Noel's home. <clears throat> we don't have that kind of time, I replied. Tomorrow I will embark to the center of the volcano and destroy the source of those hu homunculus monsters. By yourself? You sure? Worried Scattershot. <clears throat> Fear thee not, I shall stab Volvagia and save the Gorons. Sorry. 
Fuck's center, sake, Mike. center of a volcano. I had to think of it. Um, I entreat thee, do not fret on my account, for I will not, for I shall not be alone. Our valiant friend will surely go with me. You two will stay in town to ready the townspeople in case of the worst. Don't talk like that, guy. Bella laughed, playfully punching me with a hoof. I'm sure you didn't come all this way to just lose in some stuffy volcano. If any of the books I've ever read, uh, I've read are right, then the hero never fails. I laughed. Ha! A kind gesture. Though, is, is that what I'm... <sighs> ha! A kind gesture. Though, is that what I am? A simple storybook character to be molded by the whim of an author? I am my own pony, whimsical Bella. Though I do prophesize my safe return. Rest assured. Bella giggled. <laughs> <clears throat> As we neared the door to the home, a crash was heard. <laughs> Clearly there are bandicoots nearby. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Whoa. laughs> As something came in the window, uh-oh, oh. <laughs> them Klopfik vibes are coming back. It was the sound of a crescendo. <laughs> a beast came into the apartment and left magma stains on the carpet. She ran underneath oh, the table, dude, but the monster dude, could see she stop. was unable. Stop, stop. We ran into this, the bedroom. This moment, everyone else needs to let him read. Comments You're the only one stopping me from reading, bro. No, 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 seriously. <laughs> Start it over and just okay, read fine. it, man. <clears throat> As we neared the door to the home, a crash was heard. As something came into the window, it was the sound of a crescendo. A beast came into the apartment and left the magma stains on the carpet. She ran underneath the table, but the monster could see she was unable. We ran into the bedroom. She was struck down. It was her doom. Noel, are you okay? I called. <laughs> you guys lose a billion points if you don't get that. It's friggin... <laughs> A million criminal. billion points. I, I don't even want to know you anymore if you didn't get that. <laughs> smooth ass criminal. Man, I love that reverence. Holy Fucking shit! Fucking awesome. Yeah, yeah. Those in the those playing at home, we flipped our shit when we first friggin' heard this. Uh, it, it wasn't as much of a shock. I thought it was later in the fic though, but um, no, no, it, it was here. And this time. the interesting thing was, we like you read like the first two or three lines, and then we started singing the song, and then it kept going. And we were like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> no, I I read like the entire. Th <laughs> oh, oh yeah, right, 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 right. We we thought that we were gonna be funny we got and to, make like, our the own sound joke of about a crescendo, it. I think, and then like everyone like burst out singing yeah, yeah, the song. Well, yeah, 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 no, no. We we yeah, we started to joke about it, and then I read the rest and was like, oh wait, shit, he legitimately put that reference in there. Yeah, exactly. We were like, what the hell? This is intentional. <laughs> That's great. Oh, uh, so good. Ow! Sprawled out about the kind shards of wood. Okay. <clears throat> Sprawled out beneath the shards of wood and broken table, laid Noel out cold from a blow. From the blow, apparently. An igneous fist retracted itself by its master's side, sharpened in spiky monstrosity. A sharpened in spiky monstrosity. It towered fiercely over our frames and looked to strike. Blackened blades of molten biotite and horn blend protruded from the creature's shoulders and other parts of the body like armor. This bastion of thermal destruction raised sunken eyes towards us, flames burning wildly. The kid hadn't seen the calamity. Or, I don't know. He's <laughs> a bastion. <laughs> ah. A jagged mouth opened and let out a thick cloud of smoke with a terrible groan. <laughs> Just in was... time to hear that groan, alright. Dude, Minxie! You... Welcome, Ben! Welcome back, Minxie. No, she had a power outage. That sucks. Yeah, I kind of figured. Yeah, I had a power outage. Oh, uh, okay. It lifted a leg and an earthquake shook the earth with every step. Swiftly, it brought down a hammering fist to crush us. In the wake, we escaped, though we were out of the frying pan and into its line of fire. It targeted me and employed ex unexpected speed in its shuffle. An unnatural and unsettling limp brought the creature across the room and to my fallen body. Stone fingers wrapped themselves around my neck and th drew me into the air. Burning sensations stormed across my neck, the hellish nails and fingers scalding and charring my neck and tightening their grip. My neck, my neck, my neck. Sorry, you just friggin' said that it's two words. It's intentional, I swear it is. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is, but I just friggin' had to Because this isn't the only time in the fic when he'll just start using the exact same word like 50 times over and over. In <laughs> paragraph. <laughs> Awkwardly, I struggled to free myself from the grip of death. This figure of vice simply looking on me without emotion. <gasps> I could not get out the words to scold the beast's unruly temper as my eyes fluttered with darkness. The abyss shunned me, for a piercing screech broke my stupor. I fell from the control, along with the arm of the monster. Never before had I been so glad to see that shield of scarlet. 
Tempest planted herself on the ground and revealed the abomination's scream. Leaning in her head to the suffering titan, she asked, Need a hand? The distraction drew the beast off me and towards the heroine. Though I caught the weakness of the creature, a small green insignia firmly placed upon the upper back of the titan. Dude, it's got a video game style exposed weak point. <laughs> <laughs> I yep. love it. Tempest nodded to me, and I knew my task. Silently, I collected a small pallet of magic. Scattershot sneezed in the background. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. That was like a that was like a faint kind of Fluttershy-ish sounding sneeze. <clears throat> Suddenly, I collected a small pallet of magic to sculpt a crude missile. I cast the mi magic missile at the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> that is oh awesome. God. Colliding with the horrors, Mark. Uh, uh, Where are the Cheetos? Uh, from the Where collision drew another piercing to? scream. His hands frantically threw themselves at their master's back to remove the offender. Though the enchantment had seeped its poison in and undone the incantation, fingers crumbled with the body as an inanimate pile of rocks and stones replaced the terrible fiend. Dude, I started, like, my brain was focused on comprehending and quickly reading what I was reading, so much so that my eyes just started to lose focus because I was focusing on other shit. <laughs> so, like, as I was reading more efficiently, I was less able to read the words. <laughs> Uh, it works, though, apparently. Bella and Scattershot tended to Noel as Tempest approached me. Without a word, she helped me regain my balance. They said every person's name in that sentence. Who am I reading the, the text from? Who... Uh, that would be Tempest right there. Okay, oh, she approached. Okay, 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 yeah, that, there we go. How is that for frail? I laughed, but stopped as pain flashed in my neck. <laughs> Uncanny how you heard that and came and knew to came to our aid, don't you think? What, you're saying I followed you? Perhaps spying on us? I raised an eyebrow. Tempest giggled. <laughs> that is the buttering of a car engine, not a giggle. <laughs> 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 <clears throat> she examined my next wounds. The burns shouldn't be that severe. They'll be good in the morning. As you should be as you should be if we're going to the Citadel. I smiled back at her. Noel got herself to her hooves. Woozy from the attack, Scattershot took her to a nearby bed. Bella came towards Tempest and I. Noel's good. Bella piped with a grin. <laughs> She's just a little <clears throat> She's just a little unconscious. And if this is any indication of the future, these monsters would be on our on us by tomorrow. Unnecessary greengrocer's apostrophe, but Ultra is generally well written, so I shan't take note of it. Except that I did. I turned to Tempest. We'll embark in the morning for the mountain. She thought for a moment, but the thoughts released themselves and painted Tempest with an unusually friendly air. She smiled. It's true. You are from Equestria. Oh shit, that's the same thing the friggin' uh, that, that, that Bellamina, that, um, yeah, Bellamina said. Eep. Right? Yeah, that's a cool callback. I really friggin' like that callback. Holy shit. <sighs> Scene break. Just a sec. I'm gonna take a drink. Fine drink. Yeah, you do that. Yo, take that drink swag. Everybody take that drink swag, 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 swag. Nope, Minecraft. <clears throat> Dear handsome log of adventures, I've gone without diligence in this practice, and I must rectify the mistake. Tomorrow I will save this town, even if that means joining forces with Tempest. I know not her intentions, but I believe she will enlighten me as soon enough. <laughs> A foreign nature surrounds here, a thick coating of mystery with a hidden center. I shall break this shell and draw the secret from from her. <clears throat> I hear something at the wall. Perhaps you, father? I must cut this short. Sir Ostentatious. <laughs> <clears throat> Neither elegant moon nor eloquent sun presented their effects on the char on the charred land. I almost read shard, huh? Well, actually, you could read it that way, if you're weird. For what I could only assume was morning, I awoke to the tapping of the glass outside. No one else stirred. Clearly my martini would have to be shaken. <laughs> <laughs> but that ruins it. <laughs> don't tell James Bond. He don't give a shit. <laughs> he just, he drinks pussy drinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you seen any of his movies? I'm pretty sure I know that. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. uh, pussy drinks is going to be the name of the main female lead in the next movie. Oh god. <laughs> Silently, I slipped through the doorway to meet Tempest. Dude, Mixie, Pussy Drinks could actually be the name of your friggin' cougar pony. <laughs> <laughs> that is a terrible name. 
Oh, <laughs> Perfect. That is the best. <laughs> uh, anyway, from the obsidian floor, which is made out of many hours of Minecraft labor, she floated to lead our trek to the colony of devils. Yeah, Minecraft. The cadence of <laughs> the cadence of her wing beats drummed me on in harmony with my steps. Fun fact: this guy used the word cadence long the fuck before cadence was actually in the show, <clears throat> anyway. and in the same Spoilers? sentence as the word harmony. Maybe. Ooh. And in the same sentence as the word drummed. And in the same sentence as the word steps. harmony. Oh. <laughs> the same same mm. sentence as the word end of sentence period. <laughs> <laughs> Same sense as the word the. Oh. All right. Pyromanian pyroclastic geysers dotted the sloped path from the sleepy town to the metamorphic faces of the volcano. Breaths became polluted with soot, and we could go no further. Thankfully, as any good hero of the land would, Tempest directed me to an obtuse boulder protruding rather oddly from a sunken-in portion of the terrain. Dislodging the, the obstruction, Tempest revealed a pathway big enough for our bodies to walk comfortably, though darkness lined the walls and suffocated the passageway. Inside, the smell of sulfur assaulted our senses and made Tempest gag. <laughs> a frigid wind drew us in. <laughs> That's not- is that the sound of Tempest gagging? I guess so. That's just like a dry cough. <laughs> alms for the poor! Alms for the poor! <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I'll let you get this one first, she said when she recovered. A simple illumination charm propped itself up upon the tip of my horn at to herald us into this new hell. Tempest followed. The road was marred with nothingness and the unbearable smell. So naturally... Wait. Oh. Uh, so naturally the time seemed as valuable as ever to talk. Which unbearable smell is this again? Sulfur. I was... I was... Okay, thanks. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <clears throat> so, what is your story, Tempest? Huh? Uh, why do you want to know? All ponies are siblings, like the seas throughout the world. So why do our winds and waves clash so fiercely? She snorted. Fine, I'll humor you. I'm from a different village where the same thing happened here, where monsters came to take the stallions away. My dad told us not to interfere, though my mom was so was too strong to let them take uh to let them take them all away without a fight. He said if we let them go, the monsters would not come after us. But he's an idiot for thinking that kind of devil, that kind of evil would go by their word. So without a fight or a word, he was gone. They demand to be the they demand to be the guards and protectors and demand to make all the decisions. They they believe they are without wrong, but this was a purge of the illogical. So you idolize your mother? I asked. Heh, <laughs> yeah, she was great. No one could take her away from a fight, especially when those monsters came. She paused. So they took the fight so they took the fight from her. Dad didn't seem to notice. We wallowed, in the, we wallowed in the awkward silence, now casting its shadow over us. This crevice seemed to run to the center of the earth. I racked my brain to think of something neutral to say. Do you know I fight on for my own father? I asked when I could finally cut the stillness of speech. He was a valiant stallion until the bitter end. I'll wait until I see it. It even remains to be seen in you. Guys don't fight, they accept. I'm the example these ponies here need, to show them that they can fight on by themselves. You've got a very general idea of me. I'll indulge you as well. Every mare is a rebel, and usually in wild revolt against herself. I finished, not looking back to meet her eyes. Girls also have an- Ooh. This is still me. I think, <laughs> yes. Girls also have an air of mystery you cannot hope to shatter. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of the little- Is this- is this me? I mean, well, well I think it's Tempest. It's Tempest, Tempest. Okay, I wasn't, thanks. Also, I'm mm. back. Yeah, um- Girls also have an air of mystery you cannot hope to shatter. I don't know if you've ever heard the story of the girl who saved the ship from mutiny by taking a torch and sitting atop a dozen powder kegs, though she knew full well the kegs were empty. Mares keep the world in order by sitting on the mysteries of life, and, no and knowing themselves that there is that there was no mystery. <laughs> Tempest laughed in the dimness. I shook my head. For my part, I distrust all generalizations about women, favorable and un unfavorable, women, brrr, masculine and feminine, ancient and modern. All alike, they result from paucity of experience. Tempest did not answer nor laugh. An orange glow in the distance drew a silence over us as we advanced. Miraculously, our passage led us to what appeared to be the center of the, of the, mount of the mountain. <clears throat> Okay. Um, no pools or plumes of lava rushed in, rushed with vigor, but rather an empty room of a single artifact. Tsunamis of heat and pressure pounded upon our coat and hooves. In the center of this room, the artifact atop a pest, the artifact atop a pedestal, shined a vibrant, rusty color. An orb of a genuine and familiar quality, the kind used to store magic. Ooh. 
The kind that also breaks into a rather nice series of pieces when colliding with the ground. Ooh. That thought, set, that thought seemed not to set well with the globe. Swirling smog and gas within the article grew vicious and boisterous as the ground shook. Hands like daggers shot up through the floor, many of them, though they congregated around one spot in front of the mystical orb. Thickness and a rectangular armored body began to rise and take form as the final and ultimate guardian of this domain. This is not even my final form. <laughs> <laughs> there. I allow the opponent to form, as to initiate a proper fight, though Tempest was less inclined. What are you doing? She cried as her wings kicked into shape and sped and spaced herself between the monster. Go for the orb! I suppose such evil did not deserve cordial battle etiquette. Thus, I took her advice and began to gallop. In circles, I charged around the behemoth, charging spell shots and firing them at its perimeter, hoping to stumble upon the seal. Tempest took to gliding through the air to... Tempest took to gliding through the air to pierce or slice the monster's armor, though no such advancements were made. A full circle around the fortress revealed no such weakness as the other titan had bared. Oh, as the other titan had bared. Crouching over its treasure, the massive titan surrounded, its, surrounded the orb with its body, unbreakable and impenetrable. Offensive measures did not phase the protector, but it also did not seek to harm us. The titan chuckled deep in an earthy rumble. As it finished, its mouth remained open. From some unknown location, a voice distinctly not belonging to this titan swept through the room. <clears throat> Wait, uh, distinctly not belonging to this titan swept through the room. Who's, uh... Oh, is, it's Tempest? Is it Tempest? No, it's not. Who the fuck? Oh, the voice. Hang on, let me, let me read ahead and see who is. You had a really good voice for this, actually, the first time we read it, but I don't remember... It was a really good, like, villainous. No, but is this the Titan? Because it's supposed to be some sort of villain. Yeah, it's not necessarily the Titan, but it's a. Oh, but it's, it's someone speaking through. Probably the, the one controlling it or something. Okay. Yeah. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. <laughs> the voice cackled. Who goes there? I demanded, throwing my head in all directions. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I still imagine him just like flailing his head, like still facing <laughs> forward, just like just flinging his neck all over the place. And still... like the way we imagined him doing back, back yeah, trotting uh, into town. When... Yeah, yeah, when he was coming into town. <laughs> <laughs> Tempest landed beside me, goggles flaring in the flaming glows. How convenient! The voice lighted up. Both targets in one place. Ostentatious, the upstart, and Tempest, the hero. You know, you two are the reason the village is still under attack. Mainly you, Tempest. Tempest did not speak. How did you discover our names? Why is the town still under barrage? I demanded. So demanding. Wait, oh, what the fuck? Tempest did not speak. <clears throat> nope. How did you discover our names? Why is the town still under barrage? I demanded. So demanding, huh? Mockery did not scratch my resolve. You two do not fit into the game, so you must be removed from the board. I will resist thee, yet Tempest is but a fair mare. What has she done to disturb this plan? There was a pause. <laughs> Unintentionally, as I was absorbing the spit from my mouth, but whatever. Um, was it thinking or pondering some- wait, was it thinking or pondering something? The voice stammered for a moment, then melted into a maniacal and ghastly laughter. <laughs> Fits of it bounced across a bound around the walls of the room and startled Tempest and I well. Unbridled delight, almost to a malicious and hellish degree. As it stopped, the voice drew a breath and to regain its composure. Ah, I see. What a good mask, Tempest. I didn't follow. I don't follow, I said. <laughs> God, I love that. I love moment. this guy's writing. <clears throat> oh, good. I didn't think so. Here, I'll help you out, Ostentatious. Don't say I don't do anything for you, buddy. The evil snickered and faded for a moment as the behemoth hacked and coughed. <laughs> A wave in its body climbed out, wait, climbed its throat, and it was regurgitated. The molten projectile clinging itself to Tempest's face. The bomb knocked her off her hooves, and when she sprawled on the ground, wait, on the heated ground, climb, wait, <clears throat> and she was sprawled on the heated ground, screaming as the magma began to eat through her mask. Pain la only lashed out for a moment before, from above our scene. A cool inundation remedied the searing offender and removed all traces of it from Tempest's delicate features. A test of loyalty, my friend, for such an egregious liar. The masquerade and hide 
and hide-and-seek game is over. See what you can do about it, Austin. Wait, oh. <clears throat> A test of loyalty, my friend, for such an egregious liar. The masquerade and hide-and-seek game is over. See what you can do about it, ostentatious. Prove you are that little king you think you are. Dude, the little king? Is that a combo? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, every king in the lore. <laughs> As a bonus, though, I'll let you have this one. With the remark, the voice had vanished and evaporated into the thickness. The behemoth also melted away into the floor as the orb felt fresh air upon its frame. The smile shot to my face. I looked at Tempest, but she was no more. I gotta ask, is evaporating into thickness kind of like the opposite of disappearing into thin air? Uh, <laughs> it could be. Probably? Maybe. Probably? No, it just means that it friggin' like turns into soup. Oh, I don't know. Fog is as thick as peanut butter. <laughs> Shit. And then all the what? okay, okay. And then all the air turned to wood. Whoa! <laughs> Scream. <clears throat> Tempest. My voice trailed off. No bones upon the face, but an astounding and stark shift of physical definitions. Those goggles and the mask were no more, and were gone with the lava, leaving only the hidden face of what could no longer be who I had ventured into this volcano with. Hooves finally flew, away from the face, and a new sort of jaw emerged. Clearly, Jay Leno Pony was upon us. <laughs> <laughs> no, the horror! The horror! Hey, we're gonna go further the into this volcano and stop the bad guys. I can honestly see it more being Nigel Thornberry than anything. Is this Smashing. a good Jay Leno impression? I don't know, I don't watch his show. Smashing! Uh, <laughs> this <there's> fucking <clears throat> Nigel. Tempest stood back up, but who was this new form? Those familiar magenta and scarlet strikes in Tempest's domain remained, as did the deep blue coat, but once rounded facial features were no rectangular. Pupils lacked that previously seen sparkle, and twilight, no, and lead... Two eyes devoid of luscious eyelashes. The pony, no longer Tempest, stood up to face me. He and tried he to said, look me in the eye. What? This isn't even my final form. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Best part. <clears throat> he tried to look me in the eye, but failed and hung his head in shame. It was a good mask. It was my mom's most generous gift. My dad didn't see hope, but she did and fought on for me. The feminine yet gruff voice was now only gruff. I think was now actually, only gruff. Okay, I think you actually changed the voice like extremely at this point. I but know. A minor change <laughs> but, might be uh, more appropriate. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna go with this. It'll be my Brandon impression. Brandon, can That's you say good. like three words so people in the audience know who the fuck you are? Uh, hello, like three people. words. Say like three words. Say it. Say hello, like my name is Brandon. Like three words. That guy. Oh. Yeah, he's that guy. <laughs> Guy with the deep gravel voice. You, although you make me sound like a chain smoker. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I make you sound like a chain smoker. Dude, I smoked smoker. a pretty sweet chain once. I was gonna say, you chain guys smoker doesn't mean smoking a chain, Mike. You, you're under a mistaken assumption here. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's a guy who can never be, like, jailed because he just turns chains into smoke. Oh, so it's One Piece. <laughs> 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 I've never seen One Piece. Oh, All I know is he's got stretchy arms. Fell on flat ears. And the joke is broken. <clears throat> what kind of sorcery? I was dumbfounded. But you knew the Titans were after you, and you still stayed in town? I managed to get out. No! Tempest, er, no, his head shot up to defend himself. Even after the initial abductions, they returned. I am this town's protector. A silent protector. A <laughs> rainbow knight. <laughs> I, I was hoping you would say something along the lines of, I'm not the protector this town needed, but... <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say that, yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh. I am not the bread this town needs, but the one it deserves. <laughs> or something back... I said it backwards, it would have been funnier forwards. <clears throat> Wait. Even after the initial abductions they were toined, I am this town's protector. That's not the voice I'm going That's for. That's not it at all. Are you chain me out? We got it, get the Pikachu. Right. The heat of the volcano was palpable. Not waiting for me to respond, he recalled the orb. A thunderous kick fired the orb into the side of the wall, shards of glass falling to the floor, and smoke escaping into the air. As it dissipated, earthquakes and seismic activity rocked our battlefield and threatened to cave in around us. 
Pieces of this most peculiar and irregular maze were still being added in my head. Before I realized, he had picked me up and flown me out of the cave. The grip was dainty. <laughs> oh. The outside world greeted my confusion with a smile instead of wait, as, as instead of landing upon volcanic earth, grass met our hooves. Final rocks hit the cave floor and sealed away the evil. That malicious ca caldera had vanished along with the hazardous air and geysers. A quiet wind flowed across a lush, the lush hillside, and flowers swayed in the breeze. Upon the village of Obsidian now grew verdant fields and flourishing vegetation abound. The sky was still blanketed over with grimness, though the ground was pleasant to stand upon now. <laughs> was pleasant to stand upon now. He tested the realness of this amazing new landscape by leaning down to a few blades and tasting them. I did the same. A heavenly taste. We had succeeded. I trotted away from him, unable to resolve his, this perplexity in his presence. He noticed and flew in front of me to stop me. Hey, ostentatious! What's wrong? We, we beat them! The village is finally saved! I blinked. In that statement, I ignored the voice or the speaker. In the words, I felt the same valor Tempest exuded. You're right, I said, realigning my smile. We did! <laughs> I chuckled and stamped my hoof. Another day, another demon! He tried to laugh, but it fell short. <laughs> what will you tell the villagers? I asked. I believe I can see them forming some sort of congress. He threw his head back to the village. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is he some sort of whoa. friggin... Whoa, whoa, whoa is he kind of like a this snowman man? Like, this is just like that one song in the Labyrinth movie. It's the Headless Horse. Where they're throwing their heads around. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense. It's the Headless Horse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brandon gets it. He knows yeah. how it is. <clears throat> I scrolled down by accident. Yellow. He threw his head back to the village and saw the many heads behind fences. Whoa, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a goal post or what? <laughs> you might you might want to go ahead and restart and that. Behind <laughs> faces and buildings marvel in the new green arena. Jesus, everyone's getting beheaded and there's a there's some sort of arena. God, <laughs> dude, friggin' a I saved the village, but it all just went gone. fucking Mad Max's shit. Oof down, <laughs> kill him. I love like, uh, I love to I love to friggin' compare stuff to Mad Max, even though it's not at all like Mad Max. Yeah, you know, ostentatious would in fact be able to get past Thunderdome. Probably. <laughs> you should... Did you intentionally not say beyond? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, okay. A breeze picked up his mane. This isn't this isn't that guy with the glasses. We don't intentionally shoehorn that reference in everywhere. I know what the fuck. Anyway. <clears throat> I've been loyal to them, and that's all I wanted to be when I came here. I can only hope that I am still the same to them. I put a hoof on his back. Bro? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we've hit, you've hit the sky yet, my friend. You've discovered a new continent here, Tempest. He snorted and looked back to me. <laughs> Tempest is the other me. My name is Sirocco. Sir Rocco of Bodhi. I was, of Mega I was actually watching Rocco's Modern Life the other day, and I thought about Sirocco. <laughs> See, but, but I was going to say I don't think I noticed this the first time but his See, little Greg. motivational speech there I don't think you've hit the sky yet my friend it immediately popped into my head this time I don't know how I missed it last time but excuse me while I hit the sky <laughs> excuse me while I kiss the sky touch the sky <laughs> no it's it's kiss butterfly in the I know. sky <laughs> I can fly twice as high oh, like a look <laughs> Take it's in a book. book. We're reading, reading Ultra Super Rainbow. Prodigal Eternal Furious, very big Sonic Furious, Perpetual Horror Cap Legendary. That didn't really fit the rhyme scheme, but I'll let <laughs> it slide this one time. I can do anything. <laughs> Take a look, it's in a book. He can do anything, including change the title of the show. Well, yes. If it cure world hunger. As one could have imagined, the looks and stares of which Sirocco and I received were, as we returned to the town, symbolized mixed results. Sorry. <laughs> I just pause for a full minute there and then continue. <laughs> Whispers in the crowd. As to what I was with. Some were too elated. Sorry. To be concerned. <laughs> Others were simply confused. Better scattershot and grassy knoll emerged from the street to greet us. Bewilderment mess bewilderment met them readily as well as Sirocco Bewilderment met them as well as Rocco s oh, fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Bewilderment met them as well. Fuck. That's not it. Bewilderment either. met them readily as well as Rocco approached. <laughs> Bewilderment met them readily as well as Sirocco approached the three mares. He flew to a nearby table and stood atop it, preparing for a pro proclamation. Proclamation. got the uh, the the flow of that sentence correct the last time there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> 
My friends, please listen to me. Now all those eyes in their eyes, lashes, <laughs> looked on with <laughs> colorful arrays of confusion. <laughs> Okay. I just, I like that a lot for some reason. I, I am Sirocco, not Tempest. Tempest was heroin. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my new drug. <laughs> oh, so now God. I am Sirocco. <laughs> Tempest was heroin, and now I think it's time you meth the real me. <laughs> <laughs> and I am Phetamines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. was here and went, so now you use drug addicts you can stop doing it now amphetamines oh wow I don't think I've ever heard that use of pun there at all uh, <clears throat> but am I not a hero I hope that my achievements are still that I have fought f wait are still that I have fought for what was right and fair that I have risked that which mattered and that I gave hope to those who were in need Perhaps Help. I may have left this town a better place for what I've done, even if it was at the cost of a lie. For that's what a mare, a mother, wants, to teach her child to take an interest in life. She knows it's safer for the child to be interested in another pony's happiness than to believe in her, his own. He hopped down from the table. I cannot expect you to forgive me for the lie, so I will let myself out. His head drooped as he expected and accepted his fate to be cast out. Though he met a barrier, sorrowful eyes met a mare blocking his way. Many of them, in fact. Leading the blockade was Grassy Knoll. She put a hoof to Sirocco's chin and raised it up to meet her. Why did you stay here, Te- Knoll faltered. Sirocco, they were after you all along. He picked his head up. Every time they struck, I made sure no one fell to them. I took every precaution to keep this town safe. Though as he realized, he had only solidified the status of his deceit. His head slipped away again. I am a coward. It's my destiny. Noel, for some reason, found his reply amusing. A coward would go into an active volcano and remove this monstrous threat and return to us our green? Sirocco's eyes widened. I could tell they had a twinkle in them. Oh, so, ah, God, sorry. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, this hurts. I got a twinkle in my eye. I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> oh, I think it's like under my eyelid. Man. <laughs> sorry. <clears throat> Wait. Hate when that happens. I hate it. Fucking Also, it's, when your eyes suddenly become shut. Why not stay a while, hero? She looked to her support with a smile, then back to Sirocco. I think we'd all like you to stick around for a while. Cheers roared throughout the crowd. All the mares of the town had picked Sirocco off his hooves and put him above the crowd, showing their trophy to the world. As she rode to the crowd, little did he know he would be soon plated in gold and displayed in the middle of the town. No. <laughs> 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 ah. Sirocco could not speak. He was plated with gold. <laughs> <laughs> it all makes sense now. Eyes welled with tears at the unexpected burning sensation at being- No, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> at the unexpected results, and the crowd traveled off to the cafe. The hero never fails. And then Aww. he got all the bitches. That is a great Yeah, callback. I was about to say before Gage made that comment that I'm surprised you didn't infer something different from this paragraph after all that clop fiction you read earlier. <laughs> dude, 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 I'm, I'm past that now. I'm fucking past- this, this, I'm past Austin. it. Austin's too good. <clears throat> no, but dude, dude that- Seriously, that was a great friggin' callback there, that last line. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I have that's... no idea because I have not been following this. That's okay. Way to go. That that should do it. Scattershot neatly patted the earth beneath her hoof. With her hoof. Whatever the fuck. We can all see it. We can all sense it. I am still reading. The spread of life amid a once lifeless wasteland. What? <laughs> <laughs> what <are you doing? laughs> I'm saying oh stuff God. wrong, but it's still, like, it still is entirely acceptable as a as a slightly misread sentence, but then I'm correcting yeah, sure, myself totally. anyway. That's no, no, no. definitely acceptable. No, she patted the earth beneath her hoof. We could all see it. That's, like, legit That's the same as what legit. he's trying to say. It's too legit. YOLO to quit. Hey, speaking of legit, Gage, by the way, if, if, you, if you're not caught up on this and you have no idea what's going on, you only have yourself to blame because you can easily go to Brony Mike's YouTube channel and look for the chapters that are posted there. I'm going to advertise it in one of the videos that's, for that's it. That's what I was going to say. It sounds like you're doing a, an ad for my channel, even though yeah, it's an ad this for is the going channel to that they're only be on my channel. Everyone Whereas instead, 
Whereas instead, you can go to HTTP colon slash slash flutter. Wait, fuck. Ask dash flutter don dot tumble dot com. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the ask and read up ask. on some shit. Yes. <clears throat> Seven asks is. <laughs> but that, that has nothing to do with Ultra, so. <laughs> that college of mayors ga all gathered to see our quartet off before we ventured once more into this mad, mad world. <laughs> People waiting for the day they feel good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> they feel <laughs> that every child should. <laughs> Look at Happy birthday. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorako stood alongside our squad. I was quite happy for the recent gender configuration. Configuration. <laughs> As that meant he now bore the task to bear our bags. The whole town wished him well and wished him the best. <laughs> hey, Mike, is there anything I can get you while you're here? Is there anything you need? <laughs> Grassy Knoll approached the stallion. <laughs> you can maybe get me like some friggin anti-stroke medicine because I don't know why uh, I'm reading so weird. Oh, sorry, I was expecting we apples and grapes. <laughs> oh, apples and oh, grapes. The way you were reading apples was like that. It's, 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 it's apples and grapes. <laughs> <laughs> You're in you luck. get like an element of sadness in there. <laughs> uh, oh. oh my god. Oh my- no 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 Is it in? Yeah. Game Grumps are gonna be at MagFest. That's amazing. Oh Everyone go to MagFest. Game Grumps no, MagFest? You Where's please MagFest? go to MagFest. It's in Virginia. You can drive there. You live in the US. Who, me? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I thought you were talking to like the viewers. I was like, how no, do you know the but you guys can too. I friggin' wish, cause oh my god. You could god. be talking to Gage, cause he doesn't. I don't. No, I'm talking to you, Wizard, cause friggin' okay. dude. Dude, I'm the oh target my. audience now. No, I'm. Oh my but god. No, 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 no. Oh fuck, I'm gonna forget and I'm gonna kick myself in the ass, cause I really want to get a recording of him saying apples and grapes. <laughs> <laughs> I will be amazed either way. Like, if you get the recording of him saying it, that's awesome. But if you kick yourself in the ass, would you record that instead? And, like, post it to YouTube? That hard. Gladly. No, yeah. Why not like, both at the same time? Why not Zoidberg? Why not Zoidberg? Seriously, though, this is not the time to get sidetracked. Where was I? At the end um, of the chapter. Grass and Olaf wish him well. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the line you're on. Grassy Knoll's the, the line you're The town wished him on. well and wished him the best. Grassy Knoll approached the stallion. I guess this is goodbye for now, she said, raising a hoof to shake. Mm -hmm. I like to think that she, like, raises her hoof and then just shakes it a whole bunch. <laughs> her color is superbly matching with a fresh grass. Dude, she's turned into, like, camo pony. I, I thought she raised her hoof up to the glass full of shake, like the milkshake they had sitting there. <laughs> she's, like, oh, pushed it over with her hoof. She was just like, because this raising is goodbye a hoof for now, to shake. bam. Wow, that is bad. <laughs> Even by anyone's standards. Anyone. Any everyone. <laughs> <laughs> even by, even by Earth standards. But it's I tip over your milkshake. <laughs> I tip my glass to you, good sir. Sirocco nodded. Such a beautiful color. Ah, this is not the voice. <laughs> Such a beautiful ah. color. He said, raising his own hoof. We owe it all to you. She put her hoof down and embraced him. Ooh. Soon his teeth would be straightened. Well, not soon. It'd be like two or three years. <laughs> and he'd have to get them tightened every month. Certainly Sirocco. <laughs> though soon he returned to embrace. Soon he soon he returned, returned the embrace. <laughs> wow. What are you doing? <laughs> embrace I'm the term soon returned. What's going on? <clears throat> Warmth flooded into the air, as did probably Scattershot. <laughs> Sorry. Fluttershy. Um, and revitalized the area. Finally, they released each other. Our group heading off into the world. Dude, you can take a shortcut through the volcano if you're going into the world. <laughs> uh, as we waved goodbye to the group behind us. As they faded into the distance, Bella raised a question. Question? So I was trying to raise it as much as I could. Uh, now, now you need to drop the question. Question! God damn it. <laughs> Perfect, perfect, Mike. That's exactly what I wanted. <laughs> yep. So, Sirocco, how did you get such a mask? Well, my mom got it for me, for me from a bazaar near my old town. I was, you know, thinking of jumping over this bridge, but then I thought I saw a pony drowning in the water. But I went down, and it turns out that it was this, like, weird green mask that was covered in seaweed. And so I took it back to my house, and, like, my dog started freaking out. And I put it on, and I spun around a whole bunch, and then I turned green. And then I, like, put on an orange, like, a yellow suit. And then I started howling at some chick. Yo, a mask, okay. mask, everybody. Yo. Perfectly, perfectly rendered Yo. by Mike. Mike, I'm yes. to finish. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll take one of the best with the best time. mask ever. Hey! <laughs>
yo what is this some true man show <laughs> i don't know where was the word mask i fucking lost it <laughs> um well my mom got it for me from a bazaar near my old town you're on i paused oh there it is i paused <laughs> is it coming out with after i shuffle <laughs> next joke <laughs> Do you know what direction of such a marketplace would be? Sirocco thought for a moment. I, I think I travel on the northern wind, so south of here. What are you thinking? What I think you, you need thinking? to listen to Brandon talk a little bit more because your voice is messing up. I don't up. give a shit. This isn't Brandon's voice. <laughs> this is a mighty voice. Look at me. Now I'm Brandon. <clears throat> Pardon. I think, like, doing that voice that I was just doing is entirely throat mutilation. Yes. It's a really you. Brandon There's just calmly Jesus agrees. Jesus Christ, yeah, there was no, no, his no, normal voice just through no, mutilation. There was that's no sense life. of there was no sense of regular. Hey everybody, no, my name is Brody Mike. Hey. Speech. <laughs> hey, I love how Canadian that voice was. <laughs> hey everybody, go give me two thumbs up, eh? I got uh, got the good the moose like, for favorite, Christmas. Subscribe. <laughs> like favorite su subscribe, eh? Dude, fucking. I'm gonna go, go. I'm gonna go find my maple syrup and okay, drink it. Okay, here's what I want you to do. Fucking hate. I do a playlist called Least Faves and unsubscribe. <laughs> Please don't actually do that, cause I would cry myself to dick sleep. Thumbs down this video. Hey, did you say dick sleep? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my sentence was too serious, so I decided, you know. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's finish Just this. Just a dick. If we find oh, that thanks. kind of magic, we may find an even greater source. A glorious lead! Or a glorious lead, if we are talking about pencils. But we are not, though I am ostentatious, and I am always writing on the mind. I have always got writing on the mind, though I guess I am also writing on the mind. I expressed amusement triumphantly and audibly. The mouth of the meadow's cave presented itself as we exited, and we exited. <clears throat> Grass was swiftly replaced by rock, as we were left in the unknown once more. It was a bit less tasty than the grass was. <laughs> Tender light in its traditional beam broke through those sky blockades for a well-deserved delivery. <laughs> a baby pony flew down from the sky. No, 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 no. no Jesus! No. A new card I eagerly watched as it twirled in its angelic travel. Gracefully, it floated to my hoof and rested itself neatly and face up. Glee welled in my heart as the sun bid me farewell and went back to its slumber. Prodigal. A new direction and a new guardian for our crusade. I stood on my hind legs, allowing my other two to flow freely in happiness. I could hear it, a lovely plot advancement calling me in the south. As my hooves met f as my hooves met floor, I took off to the song, beckoning the others to follow. Sirocco, Bella, and Scattershot followed as our southern bound charge of the light brigade. End of book two. <laughs> Any comments or inquiries or suggestions can be sent to serocitations at gmail.com. And for those paying attention, he just picked up the word prodigal, which if you weren't paying attention at the beginning of the chapter, the name the chapter's name has prodigal right in it. Wasn't last Whoa. year's Ooh. last year's wasn't last book's eternal? Yeah. Wait, wait, he collects the words I'm to of the entire so the words of the fic. He collects Possibly. those words. So far. Yeah. Uh, yeah at the end yeah. of each book it seems. Yeah, oh shit. Yeah. He gets a new adjective. It hey, um, it was actually part of his quest that he stated in the beginning was to have oh, the title as Grand. Link's as Awakening. That's what this reminds me of. What? Dude. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, 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 no. He beats a temple, and then like the owl comes down and like says, "Uh, th there is a mysterious wind in the mountains to the north, or something like that." <clears throat> I could hear it. A lovely plot advancement calling me in the south. It totally reminded me of that for some reason. <laughs> There's like plot advancing side characters that tell you where to go next in games. Uh, anyway, that was good. Mixie, your thoughts? Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> Thank Those you. The thoughts. Sketch, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sketch, play us off. Play us off? Yeah. Play us go, off, go, 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 go. Quick. What's the song? <laughs> 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 <laughs>